Unless it's ladies night or water. No, it's not ladies night. It's eat up night. I'm down to you got some. What do I got for you this week? Skeet, 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 skeet. Right, my friends? I just got a load of music or I just can't hear me. What do I got for you? Nocturnal emissions. Whatever you want to call it. Ice cream, huh? Fresh ice cream made with these two hands. You know, a couple weeks ago, I asked you guys, I wanted to make some desserts. What did you just want to see? I don't know, maybe three or four of you people said ice cream. So, you know, I'm like motherfucking Santa Claus. I give you people what you want. We got ice cream. Ice cream that I'm going to show you how to make tonight. Let me just get you guys all set up here now. Minga, be honor, 903, get the show on the road. I'm going, I'm going. Minga. All right. Whoops. All right, so what do we need for this? We need like three, four ingredients, maybe five. We got some cocoa powder, brand name don't matter, that's why it's backwards. We got some sweetened condensed milk. We got a pint of heavy cream that I'm gonna be very careful with not to spill. We got two tablespoons of vanilla extract, or you know, if you prefer, two whole vanilla beans. I don't really plan that far in advance. I couldn't go out to the farmer's market to get vanilla bean. Publix don't have it, so you guys got vanilla extract, right? And of course, some Honey Ridge Farms clover honey, this stuff. Oh, delicious. Oh. Things gonna be all right. This is your night tonight. Everything's gonna be all right. All right, so I got some bowls here, right? The biggest thing with this is it's gonna be good, because I believe me, I've already tasted it, it's delicious, but you gotta wait to eat it till tomorrow, because it has to sit in the freezer overnight. So make sure you got room in the freezer, and what I'm gonna do right now is just put this back in the freezer while we cook. And don't worry, I got something planned special for the end that we're gonna do with that. And stuff's so falling out of the freezer. Jane, could you fix that for yeah. me, please? Because oh, we got ice cream on the floor. There's ice cream on the floor, there's stuff falling out the freezer. It's bedlam here tonight with skeet, skeet, skeet on eat up, right? All right, Jen's gonna take care of that. Make sure uh, uh, make sure I don't uh, slip and fall on the ice cream, because as we all know, that will happen. And then on top of two broken toes, I'll have a broken ankle. So, uh, first things first, we're gonna take our heavy cream. This is just 14 ounces of the heavy cream, right? We're gonna put that into our mixing bowl. Hey, what's up, Mike? What's up, Carla? Who else is watching? My sister. What's up, Maria? What's up, my big man, John K, over on the east coast of Florida? Jen's on her knees right now. I swear there's nothing going on. She's just cleaning the floor. Because I spilled ice cream when I threw the lid, all right? So what you want to do, though, when you're pouring this into the bowl, it's live TV, baby. We can't help this stuff. You know, you get your glass and a spoon, and you scrape it all out because you need 14 ounces. You know, so you gotta get it, it's all, it's all accounted for, you know? And really, this stuff, it, it's delicious, why waste it, you know? All right. All right. Now we're gonna take our two tablespoons of vanilla extract, salute. All right. I'm just gonna mix it up just a little bit right now. Just wanna, you wanna, you, what you wanna do with the spoon, right? You wanna mix it hard enough so that the vanilla extract will penetrate the membrane on the condensed milk, because that condensed milk's kinda thick, you know? It's kinda like you, it's like a, 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 an oil and a vinegar type, you know, thing. You don't want it to sit on top of the other. All right. We are now, let me tell you, this is simple, and I'm gonna be in and out with the show. You're gonna be like, oh my God, 20 minutes, 30 minutes passed by, I didn't even notice, because it's that quick. We're going to take a tablespoon of this delicious honey that you can get at honeyrichfarms.com. Right, I got a nice tablespoon of that. So now we're going to, because, look at that, look at those, 
Look at those, look at those snots hanging. That, oh, it's delicious though. Oh, those stalactites just dripping down. Oh, they're so good. You know, I put this stuff on your mom last week and uh, she was delicious. So that's how good this is. It even makes your mom taste good. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. But those people there, they do good work. You should check them out, honeyrichfarms.com. Uh, they're the same people that made the salt that I used uh, 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 last week. Was it last week I used the, the salt? What did I even make last week? I don't even know. Oh, I made the pizza bagels. No, I didn't use salt on that last week. Whatever I made like two or three weeks ago, I used the salt. It's those people. These shows aren't memorable enough, memorable enough to remember what I made from uh, week to week. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to just get rid of that. And we're going to stir. And again, it's not going to be too vigorous. It's not going to be too light. You want to get it all in there. You want to make sure the, the, the fluids all jive, right? What are you guys talking about? Oh, my friend Keith, Keith, I'm making some fresh ice cream made with these hands. No churning even. We don't churn here, we skeet. It's a skeet ice cream party. You don't know what skeet is? Urban Dictionary is your friend. Unless you're under the age of 15 or 16, don't go to Urban Dictionary and look up skeet. Trust your uncle Sudat, alright? You, you gotta be careful. Got the children's. All right. What I'm gonna do is just because I want to make sure this mixes up perfectly for you people. I'm gonna have a little blender action, right? No, this isn't some weird sex toy. It could be. If you ever watch the movie uh, uh, Bachelor Party, Tom Hanks chases a toy container around with the hand mixing. So I'm just gonna mix just light, just light, and I'll show you guys what this all looks like in a second. Alright. Alright. There we go there. Just now I'm gonna show you guys. It looks like some sperm donor uh uh extra you know spillage, you know what I mean? Look there's in the bowl. It's the right consistency. It smell doesn't smell like it though, it doesn't have that bleach smell, it smells nice, right? Look at that, alright. People, you might not know that, but that's been a lice. We're gonna take our pint of heavy cream, we're gonna mix this right in. Oh, look how nice. Again, you want to get it all in there because it's it's thick, you know, so you might have to bang on it just a little bit. You want to get it all out. I'm gonna put that in the sink because it's dripping. And I'm gonna put this in the sink because I'm gonna start mixing this stuff with the mixer, everything might go flying, right? So we're just gonna do a little. Preemptive damage control, so I don't break much. If my phone falls, I can't help it. Sing. All right, I'm gonna mix it on low. The recipe, one recipe I found said to mix it on high. Another said medium. I'm gonna start low and build up. But I noticed yesterday when I made the test dish, when you mix it on high, the stuff goes all over, and it looked like a Pollock painting all over my stove. And I don't want that tonight for you people. So, just like this. And what I'm gonna do is just spin the bowl around. What's up, Suzette? My friend in Vegas, we miss you. You see how it's like getting all frothy? I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. But I'm gonna turn the speed up on the mixer a little bit. Alright, just talk amongst yourselves for a minute or two, it's okay. If you see the topic, let me know, I'll give you one. 
ahead. Topic for discussion. The best cup of coffee you ever had in your life. Go ahead. Discuss it. I'll follow. more entertaining. It is just as boring as watching paint dry, watching someone mix a bowl of a uh, sperm. But it's all right. I'm just dancing. So you're going to make the, make the ice cream mix. Uh, you're going to mix it for about two or three minutes, maybe five. The more you mix it, the better it's going to be. Trust me. So I'm going to mix it just a little more. What's up, Hillary? Love your haircut. But you guys can see the consistency. I'm going to come closer and show you. Don't worry. Yeah, it was because maybe six or seven people wanted ice cream to be made. But this ice cream, I'm going to use it for the next two or three weeks. And other recipes, you're going to see me incorporate it. And I don't just mean a scoop of it on some uh, 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 piece of cake or something, like some low-rent diner over in King on King's Highway. No, I mean I'm going to make real dessert, a full dessert, with this ice cream next week. And you guys are going to see how that good that's going to come out. Look at the consistency, right? Right, it looks, uh, does it look a little splurgy? Maybe, but it's all right. So now remember the stuff that I showed you tonight, because like I said, this ice cream is the basis for the next two or three weeks. So there's two, right? So now what we're gonna do is get our pan, we're gonna get our cocoa powder mix again. Again, if you guys can figure out the name right, it's no big deal. I'm not endorsing them. They're not a sponsor. If there was a sponsor, I'd turn it around and see the label. That's how those things work. If you want to be a sponsor, you just tell me. But I honestly don't think this company needs me to push their stuff. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of chocolate powder here. And I'm going to sprinkle it in the bottom. Because I want a little bit of a base. It's all about the base. About the base. No trouble. All right, just like, just like that. Could you see? Let me show you. I don't want to tilt it because I lose the effect that I've got there. See, just like that. Just, you know, random. You know, it's fine. And we're going to take this now. What are you guys talking about? You'd be okay with it, I'm sure. It's like a big agush all over the kitchen right now from the hand mixing. But that's the thing. Like, there's no churning of it. There's mixing. Which I don't understand. There's a difference, I know, but... You know, when you see no churn, you're like, what are we going to do? Sand hand shake the damn thing for an hour? That's a little ridiculous. All right, so, no, I'm using the soup ladle for two reasons. One, because I want to push it down and make sure there's no air bubbles that get caught in there. Because air bubbles, it's less room for ice cream in the pan. Trust me, this is a freezer safe bowl. I prefer glass so you guys can see. All right. So now, because I'm going for that, like that Briars type of thing, right? I'm going to take a little bit of this, this right here. What's up, Dawn? Hey, Marabella, what's shaking? We're just cooking up a storm here tonight on Eat Up. Right, I'm just going to take some of the cocoa powder and put it in there again. And I'm going to come show you. Just like that. Make like a, like a little funky design. We're going to do that maybe two times during this process of going in to this dish. Right? Wait till you guys see what we do with this stuff next week. Oh. Wait to see what I do before we're finished. It's gonna be like a wedding night up in here. Alright, so now I gotta scrape go like this, we're gonna scrape it. 
Because the stuff is nice and thick, and that's the problem. The longer you mix it, the thicker it is. It's just like it's just like your husband. You play with him long enough, he's gonna be as hard as a rock. This too, this is gonna be all pasty. Like uh, not like Elmer's glue paste that you're gonna wanna peel it off your fingers. It's gonna be more like get this off my blue dress, I'm Monica Lewinsky. What did you just do to me? Alright. Now what's important though is that you don't stir what's in the bowl in the pan. Because if you do, you're gonna have some breakdown of that cocoa powder. And it might actually alter the cosmetics. Nice work, right? Oh, that's delicious. I'd, I'd, I'd plaster that all over my face right now if I wanted, if I could. So just smooth it out. All right, we just go like that. Smooth it out a little bit. Uh, well, we'll take a little bit of the cocoa powder here now. I got a little 70s funk playing on the Pandora tonight. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But, you know, last week I watched the show, uh, uh, The Get Down. And since then, it's been even more 70s funk and disco and old school rap than usual around here. All right. So now, this is ready to go in the freezer, right? I'm going to cover it with some tin foil, put it in the freezer overnight, and I'll show you guys the finished result again. No, I wish all the girl was here. And Burt Reynolds with his movie camera. Boogie nights, uh huh, uh huh. Boogie nights. All right, I get to get the tin foil. Ma 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 boogie shoe. Let's see. Oh, here it is. I wasn't prepared. I forgot about the tin foil. Just measure. You know who wouldn't wish for that? Do I'll tell you. ISIS. They wouldn't wish for it. And you want to press it down nice and tight. Oh, it's dead. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Okay. Nice and tight. And we're going to put it back in the freezer. If there's room, I'm going to take the other one out. And all of a sudden, there's room. Maybe not. Jen, you might have to help me over here now. Jen's going to go over and make sure everything can go in the freezer, no problem. And I'm going to just get rid of this. But, you know, if we went a little old school right now, we'd all be licking the bowl. And Grammy would be taking a spoon and chasing us out of the kitchen. But, I digress. All right. I hope that you guys are ready for this now, right? Get a bowl here. But again, finished product. I'll show you guys what it looks like before I serve it. That's all. I mean, you can see it's ice cream. You know, there's no doubt about it. It's ice cream. You scream. Your mom screams for this, right? All right. So now I got to cue up the music for this, all right? Because it's just going blow your mind what we do now. We're actually going to turn that music off. This is going to be so good when I show you guys right now what I do to this before we finish. The finishing touch. What's the French word? The piece de resistance. Right? The coup de grassy. Right? There's only going to be one word that can describe this. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but it has its own music. I'm going to play the theme music. We got a little Nutella that we're going to put on top of this, right? Are you ready? Oh, it's glorious. We're going to take the Nutella right there. Oh, wait till you see this. We just got to get scoop right. There we go, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm going to actually hold this closer so you can hear the music. Look it. Oh. Yes, yes, Marabella. Could you believe it? So here's my ice cream with Nutella. Oh. Now, if you don't like Nutella, you don't put it. If you don't want to change things up, you don't have to use the Hershey's cocoa powder. You can use, like, 
some Bosco or you bet or, or some chocolate syrup and mix that before you put the mixer to it. And this way now you have chocolate. You know? Oh. It's a party in my mouth, like it's 1999. The Nutella makes it, let me tell you. I forgot what I was gonna say right there. I was just thinking about the ice cream. It happened, it's all right. So, what you do also is you get strawberries, bananas, <coughs> whatever you want. You put it all in the bowl before you mix. And then that's how you're gonna get the flavors. But before you can have those fabulous flavors, you gotta get the, the vanilla down. Because all those other flavors all come down from the vanilla. Obviously, it's the base for everything else that you build. Oh, I'm not done. So I got my left-handed stout here, right? Oh. Left-handed chocolate milk stout nitro. Now with vanilla ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Don't worry, you're not gonna gain the 14 pounds back. Mmm. Come on. Right? Let me turn this off. So there you guys have it. Another awesome show on Eat Up. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you for commenting. It means so much to me. Next week, the next few weeks, you'll see I'm going to use this ice cream recipe two or three times to make other dishes, but it's going to start with the finished product of, of this and go from there. And if you guys get lost, you could always reference back, right? Yeah, a beer float. Exactly. Why didn't I learn about beer floats when I was younger? I probably, I probably would have died of diabetes already or I've been 500 pounds. By the time I got to my age, if I found out like when I was 21 about a beer flow, right? All right. Thank you. I'm glad you, uh, you enjoyed it, uh, Marabella. Come back next week. Um, until next week, all I can say to you guys is keep banging, baby.